So the diagnosis of a pediatric cancer is devastating because the first thing you think, I'm gonna lose my child to this cancer. I think one of the toughest things that you have when you're dealing with cancer is whether knowing or not that you're going to live another day. Pediatric cancer diagnosis, especially in survivorship, is even more challenging because if he gets a cold, if his legs hurt, if his back aches, the trauma of a pediatric cancer diagnosis, it never leaves the family. We're a pediatric cancer family and our son was diagnosed in 2010. I remember being diagnosed at three years old. I got certain types of memories. Like I remember one time that my family used to come over for Christmas because I couldn't make it there, so I had to come to the hospital. Our family was introduced to Camp One Step by our actual music therapist at our oncology clinic. And so she's like, you guys would be a great uh, family to experience Camp One Step. I wanna give you a phone number and a contact name. I said, okay. I called Daryl and we have been talking and been friends, really family, since 2015. Camp One Step is an organization that was formed to make sure kids don't lose their childhood. A diagnosis from cancer could take that away from them and we don't want that to happen. So that's why we formed 11 different programs for these children to go to. The vision for it, I should say, came from um, our founder, uh, Dr. Ed Baum, who was a doctor at the hospital and he saw what was going on with kids and he, he felt that because of chemo therapy and all the treatment that all they were seeing was doctors and nurses um, and the medical teams were doing a great job but he felt there was another component that was missing and that was that was component was having an opportunity to do the things that kids do and that's where camp was formed. The first camp uh, we took him to the downtown Chicago um, Camp One Step office to um, put him on the bus and I just he was a little guy and I'm hugging him and he's got his backpack. I'm gonna miss you, I'm gonna miss you too. Second year camp, he barely said bye before he got on the bus. When I first got there, it felt like a great place because there's so much love, so much joy, and so much support around you, even though you've been through so much. And I know I've been through a lot. I know a lot of my friends and other campers have been through a lot, but yeah, it's great a place to go and just feel so normal because you don't have to worry about any other types of treatments or other stuff. You just go in there and just be free and do what we want to do. My son not only has friends for life, but they each summer he gets to meet new friends and share his journey. As a parent and as a program leader, I also have been able to not only make friends, but these friends have turned into family. All of the efforts that they put into these camps, they don't go unnoticed, especially virtually and some of the pivots that they had to make during the pandemic. In 2020, we wanted to make sure that our kids did not lose the opportunity to go to camp, so we created a digital platform, so we had virtual programs running through 2020. So we do have this virtual offering, which will continue even when we go back in person. I highly recommend Camp One Step because camp is where Kids are kids and no parents are allowed. It made me become more confident in who I am as a person because just because I may have cancer inside does not mean that I am not special or not important in this world. It just means that I can do more bigger things because I've had no experience before. Every birthday for Jeremiah, you'll see our family video. Mom, are you crying? Yes, I'm crying because I'm so happy and so blessed and so thankful that my son is a cancer survivor and fighter. I just want to thank the camp in general as a whole for letting me come there throughout these, all these years and just making me feel like I'm not alone in this world and making me feel like I have more purpose. Any of the specialists, doctors, oncologists, I mean, they're absolute heroes and so are these campers. 